In this movie, we'll take a look at the helpers that Rails provides to help us output numbers. We won't spend a lot of time on the numbers helpers because I think they're pretty straightforward. There are seven main helpers that help you to format numbers for a display. I've arranged them in roughly the order that I think you're going to use them. We have number to currency, number to percentage, number with precision, number with delimiter, number to human, number to human size, and number to phone. Notice that all of them follow the same naming pattern, number underscore two underscore, followed by whatever they're converting to, with the exception of those two in the middle, number with precision, number with delimiter, that use the word with instead of two. These have long been an exception to the naming pattern in Rails. However, starting with Rails 4, we have some new methods, number two rounded and number two delimited, which do the same thing, but which follow that standard naming pattern. So number with precision, number with delimiter still work, but you're gonna start seeing a shift and people transitioning over to using the new names instead. All seven of these helper methods take a number as their first argument and then a hash of options as their second argument. You only need to specify options if you want to override Rails defaults. Most of those seven methods have some standard options that they accept, delimiter, separator, and precision. The delimiter is going to delimit the thousands. By default, it's gonna be a comma. The separator is the decimal separator. Its default is a period. And precision is gonna be the number of decimal places to show. And that's gonna vary slightly between the different methods, but it's usually around two or three. And then some of the methods have some additional options that you can pass in. And we'll see those as we look at some examples. So first we have number to currency. If I pass in a simple decimal number, 34.5, it'll return that number to me as currency, dollar sign 34.50, or $34.50. It's in US format by default with the dollar sign in the front. We don't have to stick with that though. We can use the options that we just saw as well as unit and format to change the way that that looks. So for the unit in my example, I'm passing in KR, Several Scandinavian countries use Krona for their currency, and KR is the abbreviation. And then I don't want the KR in front of the 35, which is the default position for the unit symbol. Instead, I want it to go at the end. So I can specify the format and use percent %n for the number and percent %u for the unit. So I've told it to put the number and then a space and then the unit after that. This gives you a fair amount of flexibility to render numbers in whatever currency you want. Number to percentage formats a number as a percentage, but note, that it's just changing the formatting, it's not also dividing by 100. So don't be tripped up by that. 34.5 becomes 34.500%, not 0.34500%. Don't let that throw you off. And we can specify the precision, the separator, and the delimiter as options. Number with precision is designed to determine how many decimal places should be displayed in a number. So if we have a number with a lot of decimal places, we can round it to a precise number of decimal places. By default, that's gonna be three. So you can see that I have three, four point, and then five, six, eight. It rounds that last number. Now it's not exactly like rounding, because as you can see in the next example, when precision is six, it adds a zero to the end to let me know that that's how precise it is. This idea of precision is a, a scientific and mathematical concept. And as I noted, you can use number two rounded to get the same behavior. There's also number width delimiter, and that puts thousand separator in a number. That's all it does. So we have got three comma, four, five, six comma, seven, eight, nine. Or we can change what that delimiter ought to be if we just want to do spaces, for example. And this also is aliased as number two delimited instead of number width delimiter. Number two human takes a number and expresses that number as a simple text string. It's really good for working with large numbers. So we have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is 123 million. And we can use precision there to say exactly how many digits we want. This is not digits to the right of the decimal place. This is total number of digits that ought to appear in that number. And as our number gets larger, it'll change from thousands to millions to trillions and so on. Number to human size is useful for working with data or with files because the first argument that we pass in is the number of bytes that we wanna convert. So it takes the number of bytes and returns a human readable expression of either kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes, and so on. So for example, if we passed in 1,024, we'd get back one kilobyte as a response. Number to phone takes a number and formats it like a phone number. We can also specify options for the area code, the delimiter, the country code, and the extension. The area code just says whether we wanna put parentheses around the area code. Now these number helpers are pretty straightforward, 
But if you wrote the code to do this yourself, it could be a big headache. But Rails makes these easy for us. We just have to call these helper methods from our views.